Hello, it's Biju. And Elise. And our bloggers from BijuBoxes.com will review pretty much any subscription box. Heavy emphasis on the snack boxes. Speaking of snack boxes, today we have for you Care Packs. Um, Care Packs has had some issues lately. Uh, back in April was they're supposed to be their first box, but they had several things happen. One of them was a warehouse fire that completely destroyed their stock. So as a result, those of us that actually paid in April, myself included, kind of got jilted till July. <laughs> um, Care Packs was totally cool about keeping everybody updated. You know, they actually sent out a little freebie packet of, like, five little things, you know, just to tide you over for a little while. Um, but to thank everybody, you know, for their patience, they doubled up on the subscription. So if you bought April, you automatically got May. And the cool thing about this box is it's technically a comic book subscription. So you could get both comics and candy or just candy, and you can tailor it how you want. So this is my care packs for April and May. I tailored it to no comics. You know, I'm not a big comic book reader. I'm, if you read the blog, I'm a big com candy eater. So <laughs> it's a pretty good sized box. So sorry you can't really see the top of it, but it comes with... I, if I do that, I'm knocking the camera to the floor. This thing weighs, let's see what the weight on it is. Four pounds. Okay, four pounds of candy right now. Okay, it does come with a little info sheet. Um, says they had two back-to-back -back problems, which are now fixed. Says I hope an extra amount of goodies in here. Some way make up for the lateness. Um, the flags here are represent the candies that are in the box. The, the boxes were technically random. So. Um, you can also request things like no peanuts or no chocolate, things like that, which I requested no peanuts because I just, for one thing, I got an almond allergy. And for another, I just don't like nuts. <laughs> Alright. Poor child, never knowing the joy of almonds. <laughs> Almond joy. <laughs> yeah, that's a candy bar. <laughs> Alright. It comes with like seven pounds of tissue paper. So. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm not strong enough for this box. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the things in it. Um, I don't remember specifically what I requested, but I do know I requested no peanuts. Uh, so, first thing... Bear with me, I don't know what half this stuff is, and normally I'm pretty good with my Japanese snacks. Half of these aren't Japanese. So, first thing. Oh man, you can't see my camera. Oh man. <laughs> I saw that. I want. Okay, they're Lamb's brand Caribbean snacks, sweet and salty plantain chips. Costa Rica. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know my camera was down this low. But, yeah, apparently these are going to delace. <laughs> next, next one is kind of creepy, to be honest. Um, Regent cheese rings. Cheese-flavored snack. But can you see this little anime chick here? She's got, like, rings coming. She's got, like, cheese rings coming out of her wrist. <laughs> so I'm not even joking. It's like, well, that's some weird packaging. This is from Philippines. Alright. Next item. Oh, something else too. Where this arrived literally in the middle of summer. This is melted. <laughs> cream drops. <laughs> Melster candies cream drops. Cream drop, I guess. It's it's <laughs> melted. You know, not, nothing you can do. It arrived hot in like a ninety five degree day. So Probably. It's just like one giant marshmallow now. This came from Denver, Colorado. Good job, Denver. <laughs> the next item, I should be able to hold in front of a camera. Um, Parnell Hide and Seek Fab. Orange covered chocolate chip sandwich cookies. These sound amazing. Um, imported by House of Spices. Thank you, House of Spices. Where is this from? Hey, now you've got to have a country of origin somewhere. India! Alright. 
Mixed item. I'm pretty sure these are caribals. Um. I think I'm holding them upside down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these are caramels, because obviously I can read every single thing on this package. Also known as Biju Cocaine. Basically. Yeah, they're more in Naga, so these are Japanese. Um, I'm pretty sure they're caramels. Yeah, those will be down in 30 seconds. Yeah, I kind of want to try one, so. Oh, look right. <laughs> more in Naga's caramel, Ronald. Just... <laughs> I thought you noticed that, and that's why you called them caramels. <laughs> no, I've had these before, but they say. They say Morinaga on the little silver thing. That's what tipped me off at first, and then when I turn it to the side, oh. <laughs> Good job. They look like a pack of cards. They're, yeah, they do. But these are just little Japanese caramels. Oh. And these are the dark ones, so they got a really dark flavor to them. Really deep, burnt caramel flavor. Box in the to be devoured in the 30 seconds pile. Pretty much. <laughs> Alright, the next item. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Delogy. <laughs> how do you say this? <laughs> um, anyway, these are. Cherry flavored European biscuits. It looks like it's got cake on the bottom, jelly in the center, wrapped in chocolate. That sounds amazing. I don't like jam filled with anything. So Get out. This Get is out. We're no longer friends. <laughs> this is probably one for the Belize pile. I would warn her not to break off our friendship if I'm sending her candy. <laughs> Next item. You want to keep receiving Kaichu. Well, you said high shoes at Dollar Tree now, so hey. <laughs> we're, we're good friends, I'm, I'm sure. CC pineapple jelly drink. <laughs> God. It's from. Oh, lordy. Hmm. You know, I don't know. It's from somewhere. <laughs> Moving on. Good job. Someplace probably tropical. It, well, I've seen these jelly drinks mostly in Asia. Plus, I think it's an Asian thing. What's a jelly drink? These. It's basically like you're drinking... Yellow in a pouch? Exactly. Hey. They're, they're Asian. See, it's even got an Asian logo on it. So... I've had those multiple times. I don't really care for them because drinking Jello from a pouch. Come on. Yeah, that's kind of you. Hello Kitty biscuits with chocolate cream. If you've ever had Yon Yon, you've had these. They sell that exact thing at Target. Yeah, their product at Taiwan. Basically, what it is is you get these little candy biscuits, um, and then over here is like a little bunch of chocolate you dip them in. Which mine arrived open, so my biscuits are completely. Start out. All right. Next thing is also melted, but hey, this one I can sell. The drink pop gummies. They make gummies. Apparently, I didn't know that either. Um, this is Chinese. Wow, I didn't know that. I could have sworn that ring pops were like American. Ah, uh, yes, but these are ring pop gummies. Oh well, yeah, they're Chinese apparently. All right. <clears throat> Next thing is a wafer. <laughs> Acmecton? <laughs> there is some kind of a chocolate vanilla wafer, I assume, anyway. For all I know, this is like hazelnut or something. Um, can anyone read Arabic? <laughs> I'm guessing these are like Saudi Arabian or something. Delicious rectangular prisms. These, I know what these are. They're from Japan. They're from Fujia. Um, these are the milky, they're chocolate lollipops. Those are horrifying. They are pretty scary looking, I but... I thought that was a good idea. Well, milky is a popular character. It also makes a very popular candy. So, but these are just the chocolate pops. They're Japanese. You know, when I think of delicious food, I think of sucking on a child's face. <laughs> <sighs> 
Oh gosh, more one-liners from Beelie. That just got me on all the government watch lists. <laughs> I think that <laughs> that don't do drugs, children. <laughs> Okay. Go fund me. Get me out of jail again. <laughs> She's been in jail like nine times now. All right. Ulza Prince Polo Classic Dark Chocolate Confection, which is also melted. It looks like a dark chocolate wafer. It looks delicious. It does. It's from... Store in a cool, dry place, Clue. I didn't do that. <laughs> Poland. My homeland. All right. Oh, well, this is not completely melted. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of care packs. This was totally the U.S. Postal Service. Because <laughs> they actually sent this today. All right. Fine chocolate Russian. I don't even know what language this is. So it's some kind of a chocolate bar. Or was in its former glory. Uh, it looks like it's Russian. Oh, Ukraine. Made in Ukraine. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should read it first. God. <laughs> oh, they sent another one of the Prince Polo wafers, so I got two of them. Marco. Polo. This is completely squished. Oh, God, I don't even know what this is. Some kind of it's got a feather on it and a lemon. I'm assuming they don't, you know, package feathers. <laughs> Lapti de Pissare. Looks like a little chocolate, but it's completely squished. I think we need to have a video of you just failing to say things for like two hours. Oh my god, it would never end. Next item. Oh, this looks like it's a lime something. It's also looks like it's Russian or Ukraine. Can't tell. Don't know. Assistance needed SOS. <laughs> oh god, there's more of those. They sent three of these things, so they must be good. Ooh, what are they? I don't know. Show me. <laughs> well, I mean, they're, they got like Russian or Ukraine or something on them. I don't know what they are. I can't see, but they're green. They're green. Uh, they this is a... green tea. They're not green tea. But... No, they look like a, a lime. Okay, this one is a decipum. Decepticon? <laughs> Decepticons invading your cakes. This <laughs> is some kind of a Decepticon lemon cake. <laughs> Where is this from? I don't know. I can't read these languages. <laughs> um, it's got a happy cow. It's a super happy cow. Don't know that word. Show me. Like, it's also, sir. It also appears to be probably Russian. I think it's um some kind of a fudge. All right, I'm just gonna. I'm so sorry. I just thousand times sorry. Oh my god, how much is in there? There's tons of candy in this box. This is all the little candies. Um, what is the, the yellow brick? Uh, the one I just picked up. Yeah. Some, something pineapple. Oh my god, pineapple. I don't know what it is, but it's something pineapple. It's really hard, too. All right. Is that what I think it is? That brown candy in the back? Uh, Milkata? No, not that one. Copico? Yes. Is it a Copico? It's a cappuccino, mini coffee mint. Yep, that's going to me. <laughs> Probably. I don't like coffee. I grew up on those. Those are delicious. Uh, Milkata milkshake candy. I love these things. They're from India. They're just hard candies. Oh, God. Uh, some sort of soda candy with some god-awful language on it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these are. Let's get these out of the way. All the Milkatas. Milkata. Remember, kid, languages are hard, so just give up. <laughs> Learn them when you're young, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> or else you'll end up like us who can't even speak our own language. This is, I just completely knocked out any credibility I ever had as a food blogger. <laughs> as an international food blogger. 
All right, this is a hard candy of some kind of a pear, an apple. It's uh, Japanese, I think. At this point, I don't even care, man. Another happy cow. It's, I'm thinking, like, pretty much most of these candies are from Ukraine or Russia. Mary Jane's. I know we have these here, but I don't... It's a Mary Jane. Um, it's from Neko. It's a little okay. little fudge block. What's a Neko? They make those little, um... Those big chalky wafers. Neko wafers. I'll take your word for it. I'll show them to you later. More milkatas, little milkatas. Oh, gosh. What is this? It's... I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, it's... Alright, we gotta taste test this one. It's got a bunch of cherries. Oh, it's chocolate. Oh my god, it smells terrible, too. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh my god, what is this? I don't know if you can see. It's like a jam. It's... Oh my god. You see that? Oh, what have you done? I don't know. What is this? It looks like it's got jelly inside it. Just stuff it in your mouth. No. Yes. I'm not stuffing random objects in my mouth. PG thirteen. You stuff it in your mouth. PG thirteen. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Well, that's pretty much everything. Let me show you. Let's get all this over here. Alright, this is two months of Care Packs. Care Packs runs about $24. They do accept PayPal. Um, you know, they're, they're a pretty cool company. You can customize it how you want. You can add comic books to it. Or you can do what I did, which is just the candy option. I don't know how I feel about this so far, because I feel like I don't know what any of this stuff is, for one thing. I'm going to put something unholy in my mouth, I know it. And I'm just kind of... Culture shock, I guess, because a lot of this. No, no, it's full of surprises. It is very full of surprises, but it's like this is stuff that I have <sighs> never seen before, and that's. Oh, suck it up and just shove it, shove it in your mouth. Oh, jeez, I think that's a good place to end it. Bjboxes.com. <laughs>